Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. So, welcome back to our class. So, today we are going to continue with our lesson. Okay, subtopic 11.3, Reflection. Okay, so let's look at the first learning standard. Okay, recognize a reflection. Okay, when, okay, this is uh, an example. Okay, when Previna looked at the mirror okay, while brushing her hair she will be able to see her appearance in the mirror okay the image of privina in the mirror is the result of reflection okay reflection is a transformation that occurs when all the points on the plane are reversed in the same plan on a line okay the line is called the axis of reflection Okay, ni contoh dia Privina ni dia tengok uh, apa cermin lah so reflection dalam cermin itu kita panggil dia reflection okay dan okay, cermin itu kita panggil sebagai plane uh, axis of reflection okay boleh eh? okay sekarang cuba kita tengok video ini terlebih dahulu Tak apa, saya tunjuk ini. Okay, kita tengok contoh ini. Okay, so di dalam uh, page ini, okay, yang di sebelah kanan, on your right is object. Okay, and what is on your left is the image. Okay, and we have a line of GH. GH is line of reflection. Okay, sekarang cuba tengok di sini. Okay, uh, look carefully. Okay, from this object ok so kita tengok jauh dia daripada cermin ini ok anggap ini cermin eh so kita ada separuh satu dua so we have two and a half box away from the line of reflection dan dia punya reflection pula adalah ok one two and a half ok two and a half away from this line of reflection ok sekarang cuba tengok ha, bentuk dia adalah song sang Ok, sama lah macam kita tengok cermin kan Ok, so telinga kiri kita Kalau dalam cermin kan dari telinga kanan Lebih kurang macam tu lah Kedudukan dia Ok, uh, so dia uh, akan songsang sebegini Ok, sekarang cuba tengok Ok, what if I change the location of line of reflection Ok, for example I'm going to move this point G Ok, saya akan gerakkan dia uh, Pergi ke sini uh, Nampak tak? Ok, bila line ini saya condongkan ok image dia akan berubah reflection akan berubah ha, sekarang cuba tengok di sini ok ingat eh apa-apa kita punya uh, reflection kita akan menuju terus ke arah cermin ini ok bukannya begini lagi eh bukannya begini lagi sekarang kita tengok terus ke cermin ok dari sini pandang terus dia mesti 90 darjah Okay, dari sini dia terus sambung ke A prime. Okay, same with point F. Okay, start from here. Okay, 90 degrees with the line of reflection. Then sambung ke belakang. The same distance. Okay, boleh ya? Tengok lagi sekali. Saya ubah point of G. Ha, berubah. Saya ubah pula ke sini. Ha, dia semakin jauh. Okay, saya gerakkan keseluruhan line ini pula. Okay, nampak tak? Half one box. So, one and a half box. Ini pun one and a half box. Okay, saya cuba ubah lagi H ini contoh. Saya ubah ke sini. Okay. Sekarang cuba tengok di sini. Okay, A dia mesti menuju ke sini 90 darjah ni. Okay, kalau dia terus ke sini, dia bukan 90 darjah kan? So, dia mesti terus ke sini 90 darjah. Okay. So, ke sini dan dia ke sana. Ha okey ni pun sama. Ke sini, masuk ke sana. Boleh eh? Ha dia umur macam cermin lah. Ha okay. kalau awak sengit depan cermin, image awak pun sengit. Ha macam ni kan? Ha okey. contoh saya ubah lagi ke sini. Ha okey. Apa jadi kalau dia di tengah-tengah ni? Ha tengah-tengah tu, ha tengah macam itulah. Okay, kalau saya gerakkan lagi dekat-dekat, dia tercantum. Ini umpama macam awak sentuh cermin. Ha, okay, boleh? Okay, itu contoh dia untuk mudah awak nampak. Okay. 
So sekarang, okay, let's look at the first example for this subtopic. Okay, example 13. Okay, which of the following patterns shows the orientation of a reflection? Okay, so the first one. Okay, so for example, okay, di sini kita ada cermin di sini lah, for example. Ha, kan dia tunjuk kan dia punya uh, reflection of oh sorry uh, dia shows the pattern of orientation of a reflection uh, nampak uh, reflection di situ so ini adalah yes ok sekarang B ok B for example you have a line of reflection over here uh, tapi dia tak follow kan dia tak terpantul uh, umpama macam awak tengok cermin tapi awak nampak belah belakang awak dalam cermin tu Uh, tu macam tengok sesuatu yang menyeramkan betul uh, so ini bukan reflection this is not a orientation of reflection okay now C okay C imagine there is a line of reflection over there uh, so betul lah kan uh, awak tengok cermin nampak muka awak di depan so this is a reflection okay so next okay example 14 complete the sketch below okay so we have the object half of the object over here and then you have the line of reflection okay so the question asks you to complete the sketch okay so let's complete the sketch okay you need to follow okay uh, this line okay so let's look over here okay this one is more simple okay so you have two boxes okay and then you must draw two boxes away from here okay and then you can join the line okay and then same goes with this point okay this is one okay this is this point eh? so this point one two three four four box away okay from the reflection so the same one one two three four okay so we have four box away over here Okay, and then you just connect the dot. Okay, and then same goes with over here. So you have one box away from the line of reflection. Same goes with over here. So it is over here. And then you connect the dot. Okay, and then finally over here. Okay. Uh, nampak tak? Kan dah bersambung? Kalau awak lipat, dia akan bercantum. Cantumlah. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, 11.3.2. Okay, describing the reflection. Okay. So, the learning standard for this part is describe reflection using various representation. Okay, so the first one. Okay. In the, di uh, in the following case diagram, the triangle M prime is the image of the triangle M under a reflection. Describe the reflection. Okay. So we know M is the object. Okay. M prime is the image. Okay. So how can we describe the reflection? So kita describe uh, mana cermin dia. Uh, itulah contoh dia. Mana line of reflection. Okay, for over here, kita tengok. Okay, so this one is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, kita ada 4 boxes. Okay, uh, uh, the difference, okay, the distance between the image and the object, object and image 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 boxes. Okay, in order for you to find the line of reflection, okay, we know the line of reflection must be in the middle of those two. So, we take 4 boxes divided by 2 is equals to 2 so we know that this is 1 2 1 2 the line should be over here okay uh, so when we draw the line we can see the line is actually yeah, I draw it properly so we can see that the line is actually the x-axis okay uh, so how can we describe okay we can write it like this. Okay, the object M is reflected in the x-axis. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, now how about B? Okay, the same thing. We need to calculate the distance between the image and the object. So over here, one, two, three, four, four boxes away. So the same thing. Four divided by two is equals to two. Okay, why we divide by two? Okay, because most are uh, not most of the time. Okay, it is always okay. The line of reflection will always be in the middle of the object and the image. Okay, uh, unless uh, contoh kalau cermin lah, uh, cermin tak pernah uh, kalau bergerak satu langkah ke belakang, yang image belakang uh, dalam cermin tu pun akan bergerak satu langkah ke belakang. Uh, okay, unless cermin tu cermin yang tipu-tipu tu lah yang dalam apa selalu dekat fun fair tu kan. Okay, so so let's calculate. Okay, so two boxes, so one two. Okay, we can see that the line is actually on the y. Axis. Okay, so how can we describe the object M is reflected in the Y axis? Okay, as simple as that. Okay, now let's proceed to example 16. Okay, draw the image of the triangle ABC with a reflection on line LM okay uh, so this one sama je lah okay simple okay uh, you can read the steps okay uh, but I'm going to uh, explain to you my way okay mudah sahaja okay we focus on this point A first okay so let's focus on this point A okay let's calculate how many boxes so one one, two, three, four. Okay, four boxes away from the reflection line. So the image of A should be also four point away. One, two, three, four. Okay, so A should be here. So this is A prime. And then B. Okay, B is one box away from the line. So the image will also one box away from B. So from the line. So this is B prime. And then C. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four box away. So the reflection, the image also four box away. One, two, three, four over there. Okay, so this is should be C prime. Okay, next just connect all the dots. Okay. Okay, there you go. So that is your image of a B C okay uh, just like that okay so over here is B prime so this is A prime and this is C prime okay uh, as simple as it is okay okay next okay uh, 11.3 solve 11.3.4 solving problems okay the learning standard is soft problem involving reflection Okay, so in the diagram on the right, okay, M prime, okay, this is M prime, is the image of M in the in an axis of reflection. Okay, determine the coordinate of P prime under the same axis of reflection. Okay, so now, okay, kita nak cari where is your axis of reflection. Okay, ingat tadi saya kata, we need to count Okay, how many boxes away? Okay, so over here the image and the uh, image and the object is two box away. Okay, so two divided by two is equals to one. Okay, so your axis of reflection should be over here one box away. Okay, so we draw a line. Okay, so this is the line of reflection. Okay, now. The question wants us to find the coordinate of P prime. Okay, so now this is P. Okay, let's calculate how many box. Okay, one, two, two box. So the image should be okay, two box away as well. So one, two. Okay, so the image of P should be over here. Okay, so the coordinate of P prime is. Okay, equals to negative 3, 0. Where? Sorry, re negative 3, negative 1. 
okay negative negative one okay with line of reflection is okay line of reflection is y equals to one okay Betul kan? So, ni paksi y, x, oh sorry, y axis, okay? Over here, 1. Okay, so your equation is y equals to 1. Okay? Uh, so, this is how you, and this is for further explanation. You can read it yourself, okay? Okay, so settle for reflection. Okay, that's it. Okay, now I want you to try, okay, number one, number two, number three. Okay, cukup lah. Three questions. Okay.